Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So basically the point I'm, I was trying to say is that um, you shock me, you people shock me, you know. Uh, today, you know, this group is praising me because I've said something that they like. The next day I say something that they don't like. I mean, they all get upset and you start calling me names. Now, the point is, a, for me, I don't, I don't speak to uh, just support one group. Uh -uh. Because really this fight is between the PF and the UPND. But look, me, I don't belong to PF, neither do I belong to UPND. I don't. I don't belong to UPND. I don't belong to UPND. And at the same time, UPND has not engaged me to speak for them. Neither has PF engaged me to speak for them. I am not a spokesperson or I'm not part of the media team of either 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 parties i'm not but i look at whatever is going on and give my perspective give my perspective and that perspective surely it can always never be the same i cannot always be agreeing with the upnd i cannot always agree with the pf i can never do that it it is then it is not real then it is not real. Then I'm not real. By the very fact that this group today will be insulting me and the other day the, the other group will be insulting me, it just goes to show that I'm act, after all, I am objective. I'm objective. I'm objective. It, just, it confirms that. But of course, if you belong to UPND, you will not see that objectivity. If you belong to PF, you will not see that objectivity. But those who are in between, those who want to hear the truth, those who want to hear a different perspective will appreciate me. They will appreciate me. And I can, I can assure you that I have a lot of those people who support me like that. And the people that actually support me in one way or the other, especially, you know, uh, financially, they support me regardless. They don't say, no, today, uh, uh, they support me regardless. You people who talk too much, who want to own me, you don't even help me. You don't even help me. You talk whatever you want to say, but at the end of the day, what do you do? How do you help me? You don't. You don't. Even when I go to my prison and whatever, 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 you are not there. You are not there. So, in, I want you to know, going forward, I've said this before, I don't belong to UPND, I don't belong to PF. And each time I go, I support this party, you always come up with these wild allegations and speculation. No, he has joined them, he has joined them. How long have I been, have I been in between? How long, how long have I been with uh, EEP? Before I was even with Zambian Voice, I would have joined these, these, these political parties if I wanted. But you always come up with this. You all, hey, yes, 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 he has joined, he has gone. Hey, he has been paid. Why do you always say he has been paid? When, when I was supporting you, you never paid me. Imova you, PF. Today you are the ones who are saying, I've been paid, I've been paid. In, uh, when I was supporting, when I was running, I labeled it up. What did, what did you pay me? What did you pay me? Who came to hire me to say, we want to hire you so that you can do 
eh ali bodi la who hired me who hired me who paid me for you know a running that agenda of Ali Wilrap. No one paid me. No one engaged me to say, I'm paying you this money so that you can run this agenda. No one paid me that. At one point, I was running the agenda of Mundubile before the Ali Wilrap. Go and ask Mundubile if at all. One, one day he called me to say, come, come, sit here. Here is the money. Go and run my agenda. Go and ask him. Go and ask him. But when I say no, Haka in the HDMI is not involved in the God scam. The area has been paid. Hello? I was running your agenda. You never paid me. But this time around, I'm talking about somebody who said, no, HH is not involved. He has been paid. How? Even when you didn't pay me, how do you, why do you always say others have paid me? When I was saying Mundubile is the best candidate for, for PF. Those who were opposed to that agenda, they were saying, Mundubile has paid you. Mundubile is the one who is doing this for you. You said all sorts of things. You said all sorts of things. When I started supporting uh, uh, Ntuan Kani, uh, uh, when I, 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 I brought up the issue of Ale Wele Rapo, by UPND they were busy. Ed Galungu is doing what? Ed Galungu is, is paying your rentals. Ed Galungu eh, has bought you a vehicle. Ed Galungu, whatever, whatever, whatever. But one of the reasons that I've even pulled back is the fact that I'm not being assisted. That is my reason. That is my reason. That is my reason. So if I was being paid, how can I turn around here and say I was not being, being assisted? And I didn't hide. I've not hidden. When I need money, I don't hide. When I need money, I don't hide. Even those people who have come to me for whatever advocacy, if I need to charge them, I even say to say, uh -uh, this is not advocacy for the poor. This is your business. If I have to do this, you need to pay me. I don't hide. I don't hide. Advocacy, which is in business in nature, I do tell people to say, you need to, to pay me for, for me to run this. I do tell people. And that is strictly business. But when you talk about politics, something that I'm convinced about, like the Alebo de Lapo, or before Mundubide, I still believe Mundubide is a good man. He's a good man. I still believe Mundubide can be a good leader for, 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 for PF. I still believe Mundubide can run this country very well. I still believe that. I believed it then and I still believe it. And I, because I believed it, I didn't go to Mundubile to say, Mundubile, pay me for me to, to support, to talk about you. No. I didn't. Because I believed in that agenda. When the issue of Alewe Dapo came in, when the issue of Alewe Rapo came in, I never asked anyone to say, pay me to run the agenda of Alewe Rapo. I ran it because I believed in it. I believed at that point that indeed, Va, Va, Mundu, Va, Va, Va Ed Galungu is the best candidate to contest against Haka in the HDM. And I will tell you, even today, I still maintain that, that really, the only person, the best person to contest against Va Haka in the HDM is Edgar Chagwalungu. I still maintain that. I still Mungu Fuikishe. Mungu Fuikishe. I want you to listen properly. Iwechi Sera Mwila. Listen. Wukopo too much. Listen. We know we know Konko von Deland. Not to raise Ule Isura Isura Femukanwa. Ungu Fuikisho von Deland. I still maintain that at at the moment Va Edgarungu is the best contender for President Haka in the HDM. But if I still believe that, why am I backtracking on it? Is it inconsistency? No. It, the problem is Valungu Aveni. Valungu Aveni, that is a problem. Yes, it is there. He stands the best contender. But can Valungu do it? Can Walungu put up 
put up the fight. Can he? Certainly not. He can't put up the fight. He can't challenge wa wa haka inde ichinema. Much as people out there, a lot of people are saying, yes, Valungu abwede repo, abwede repo, abwede repo, abwede repo. Much as people are saying that, Valungu Avene cannot contain the fight that haka inde ichinema will bring at his doorstep. At his doorstep, if not at his doorstep, up to his bedroom, up to his bedroom, Waka Inde Ichinema will bring a, a serious fight up to his bedroom, up to his bed, like he has already done. Waka Inde Ichinema has brought up the, 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 the fight, it has gone up to the bedroom. And has Waka Inde, has Waed Galungu fought back? No. Waed Galungu hasn't fought back. And he can't fight back. That is my challenge. That is number one. It is not because I don't believe uh, that, uh, you know, Edgar Lungu is, cannot contend. He can be a serious contender. He can be a serious contender. Even now, I maintain it. He can be a serious contender. The problem is, can he manage to put up, you know, with the fight that Haka uh, Inde can bring? He can't. He can't. And no matter how you are going to push him, no matter how much you can push him, he just can't. It is not in his nature. That's why in, in my previous uh, broadcast, I went on to explain from the time when, we, when we, uh, Edgar Lungu became a member of parliament and how he became a minister and so on and so forth up to the time when Sata died. I showed you that we, Edgar Lungu has never fought has never fought to be. He, Edgar Lungu did not fight to become president. He didn't. He didn't fight. He didn't fight. People fought for him. People fought for him. Avena Sander, that Sander. Those are the people that fought for him. And of course, many other people fought for him. Thank you very much. And of course, many other people fought for him. They fought for him, but really himself to fight. He didn't fight. Vaed Galungu is not a fighter. And this is not an attack on Vaed Galungu. It's not an attack on Vaed Galungu. It is just the truth. It is just the truth. And even Vaed Galungu, even wherever he is, he may hate me, he may be upset with me, but this is just the truth. He can't fight. So the issue of no, you are inconsistent. I analyze situations every day. I analyze situations every day. I make decisions every day. I look at, this is what I thought yesterday. What about today? Is it the same? And if I realize that mm -mm, what I believed yesterday is different today, I mean, honestly, should I just continue to say, no, 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 for me to be consistent? No. If it is not making sense to them, no. I will not. I will not. The problem that you have is that most of the times, even you people, you do realize that mm -mm, this is not good. You do realize. The problem that we have is that you people, most of the times, you are scared to confront leaders. As a country, we are scared to confront leaders. We are scared. We don't want to confront leaders. Not because we don't realize that something is wrong. We do realize we do realize that something is wrong, but we don't want to confront them. We don't want to tell them to say, uh-uh, this is wrong. We are too scared. Don't tell me to say, no, 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 uh, it is about loyalty, it's about uh, uh, consistency. No, you are scared. You are scared. You are scared of the consequences. We are scared of our leaders. We don't want to tell them the truth. This is the challenge, and this challenge is not just in UPND, is not just in PF. It is everywhere. Even Okomuwomba, some of you people who work, some of you who work, you know that your boss has gone astray. You, you are quiet. You come out of the meeting, that's when you say, ah, but did you hear what he said? Ah, me, I didn't agree with it. You didn't agree with it. Why didn't you say it in a meeting? Why didn't you say, boss, I mean, my view is, I think if we could go this way, why do? Why are you scared? Why are you scared to con to confront 
the, your superiors. Of course, it's not to say that you have to disrespect them. No, you don't have to disrespect them. I don't disrespect people. I don't insult people. I tell them. I tell them. And even some of you will be saying, no, 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 but why, why not do this? advise these people in private? Trust me, I've, I've spoken this, I've said this. I've said this even before, Valung, I've told him. I've said it, I've said it, honestly, I've said it. I even put up, you know, an analogy to say, boss, for you, your excellency, for you, to get power from Vaka and Ichilema, you have to fight. Because Vaka and Ichilema will not let you. He will do everything, anything to make sure that he stops you. So you need to fight. And he said, yes. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. But words are easier said than done. You can't say, no, I'll do it, but you are still, still in, sitting in the house. Tomorrow they even come, they even harass you, this, but you are still sitting in the house. They come, they touch your children, you are just sitting. They come, they touch your wife, you are just sitting. When are you going to fight? When are you going to fight? If we not do what not do what what not do what what we have done this we're doing this we're doing this we're doing this but him is just is behind there. And should I continue when I've clearly seen that the man can't fight? Should I continue? I can't. I can't continue. I can't. I can't. That is. It is as simple as that. I can't. So yes, much as I believe it, much as I believe that he can be a good contender, but he can't fight. He can't fight, and the fights. The fight has been brought right into his house, right into his bedroom. It has been brought, the fight, right now as we are speaking. There is that fight right in his bedroom. What is he doing? Have you heard him talk? Politics is about talking. And if you don't talk when your wife is arrested, if you don't talk, when are you going to talk? If the, you can't be heard when your wife is taken, when are you going to be heard? So you don't confront leaders. And what I'm saying here, it's not that Imova PF Tamuafimona. It's not that Imova PF Tamuafimona. Even you people in PF, you have seen it. Imova Central Committee, you have seen it. A number of you, you have seen this. What I'm saying here is not strange. No. It's not strange. It's not strange. It's real. You have seen it. You have seen it. But you are busy insulting me. You are busy calling me names. You are busy calling me names. Why are you calling me names? What I'm telling you is the truth. So why are you calling me? Why am I calling me names? Hey, inconsistent, inconsistent. Mdala. When you see that, that Parileko, change your gears. Change your gears. Because what will happen? As you keep on doing this, you are doing this, you are doing this, you are being exposed. You are being exposed and at the end of the day, you will find yourself in trouble. You will find yourself in trouble. And when you find yourself in trouble, how do you expect the person that you are shouting for, the person that you are trying to defend, the person that, whose agenda you are running for, how are you expecting to come and protect you? Because my politics, say for Chava, you can be doing some of these things which are risky and whatever, whatever. You can even be arrested. Once you are arrested, you rely on the people that are behind you to help you. That's what you rely on. But if those people that are behind you cannot even fight for their own families, how are they going to fight for you? How are they going to fight for you? If they can't fight for, you, for their families, how are they going to fight for you? So that is really my, 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 my clear and tone. And my problem is that we don't, we don't challenge our leadership. We need to challenge our leadership. Even with BPF, by UPND. By UPND, you know that some of the things that are going on in, in UPND are not right. They are not right. Are you coming forward to challenge some of those things? Are you talking to your leaders? Are you? You are not. At the moment, a number of UPND cadres are, you know, are in disarray. Two years down the line, the UPND has not helped a number of people. I do understand, you know, you cannot help everyone. But there must be some clear policy which will be able to benefit by UPND. UPND cadres. 
They must be, they must be, unfortunately. It just have to happen. It just have to happen. You can't run away from it. You can't be a president without your cadres. You can't. And I'm talking, when I'm talking about cadres, I'm not talking about the thuggery of BPF. Uh -uh. I'm talking about just normal policies that can help. That can help cadres. You know them. Give them some, some to my businesses. Give them some to my contracts. But PF what they used to do. Some of the contracts, people, they don't even need money. They just need to mobilize themselves, mobilize a group, and they do something. Youths, give them something. I mean, build something. Let them mobilize and build whatever it is that they have to build. Let there be some projects. You talk about CDF. I do appreciate your CDF. But that CDF really is not seen among the young people especially. Let the young people have a feel that no could CDF. CDF cannot just be spoken about Pakanwafi, Pakanwafi, Pakanwafi. And yet the people are not feeling it. They must be able to feel it. Give some of these projects to some of these people that you know, some of these young people. Let them deliver. When they deliver, at the end of the day, even the community will benefit. It is as simple as that. But when, if you talk about that, then you are a rebel in UPND. No, but it shouldn't be like that. If you talk about va, va, va Ed Galung, then you are a rebel in, in, in PF. These, these are real realities. And the issue of Edgar Lungu is a, is a big serious challenge. It's a serious challenge. It is a serious challenge which it is making PF to be stagnant. And of course, embroid, embroidered in litigations. Why? Because, for example, the issue of, uh, of uh, the resignation and the cases that Mao Sampas brought up and also these issues of appointments these issues of appointment. Now, Mao Sampa's issue is that by Edgar Lungu resigned. And he challenges that given Luminda and others, they don't have the powers. That's what, he, that's what his challenge is. And for me, this issue, I have actually spoken about it with some people, including Kriva with by Edgar Lungu. The issue is that Yes, there is a letter at cabinet office where Barungu is saying, I've resigned. I'm not going to participate in politics. But when we go to the when we go to, to the party, the party is saying, no, we have not accepted that resignation. We have not accepted that resignation. Edgar Lungu is still our president. So on from cabinet, from government point of view, by Edgar Lungu Barista resigned. From the party point of view, Baed Galungu Tabachita resign. He's still our president. These are the two situations. This is the situation that we have. We have a situation where at cabinet office, according to them, Baed Galungu Tabachita resign. When you go to PF, according to, cent to Central Committee, they are saying, no, we have refused that, that, uh, that, uh, that resignation. Now, who can sort out this case? Who can sort out this is it the courts that are going to sort out this? The answer is in Vaed Galungu. The answer is in Vaed Galungu. And all Vaed Galungu has to do is to come up and, and say, that letter which I wrote, my party has refused. I'm still their president. It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. Yes, I wrote you a letter, but that letter is now and void. Forget it. Because my party has refused. I am still the president. I'm still the president. The moment he does that, even the case of Mao Sampa falls off. Even the case of Mao Sampa falls off. It wouldn't stand. It will have no legs. It will have no legs. Now, Others in PF, they continue acting. They continue acting like they are drawing powers 
from the given the wind or from from the Edgar Lungu. The given the wind is acting on behalf of the Edgar Lungu. But the Edgar Lungu, Abashimoneka, the Edgar Lungu, who has not declared himself to say, I am back. So how can you drag, how can you, how can you, how can you get power from somebody that is not active? How can you, how can you, how can you draw power from somebody that is not active? How can you draw power from somebody who doesn't even chair the meetings? Because what Walungu should have done, if indeed the party has refused and is still the president of PF, at least once in a while, he should have been going there to chair the meetings, the, 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 the uh, what is this, the central, uh, uh, the, mem the MCC meetings, the central committee meetings. He should have been going there sometimes. He chairs those meetings. That shows that he's still active, but he doesn't even, he doesn't even do anything relating to PF. So where is the given in the drawing the powers? Where is he drawing the powers? Where? This is the challenge. Now we have, we have, uh, we have uh, Nakachinda and other people appointed. I am not saying Nakachinda uh, have anything against Nakachinda. I agree with Nakachinda. I mean, to be Secretary General of, uh, of PF, it's fine. I think is 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 is. Is okay. Is the right person to be to be there? I totally. I mean, I support Nakachinda, but the legitimacy, the legitimacy of these appointments becomes questionable. Why? Because the substantive president, the one who has the powers to appoint to make those appointments, is sitting there like he has resigned. So this is a challenge, and 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 truth be told, truth be told, even you are PF, you know that this is a challenge. Why can't Valungu come out? What is he scared of? How is he scared of you know government stopping paying him the money? What is he scared of? Why can't he come out and just say, "Hello, I'm still the president of PF." Why can't he do that? Why can't he do that? Because once he does that, most of these problems, most of these issues that are, 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 are shrouding PF will go away. Will go away. And me, I'm simply bringing out this. And yes, somebody will say, but why are you talking about it? Hello? PF is the biggest opposition political party. And I'm free to talk about any political party. I'm free. I'm free to criticize them. I'm free to oppose them. That is checks and balances. What I'm doing is checks and balances. And somebody will say, no, no, but you don't offer checks and balances on an opposition. No. You offer checks and balances on all political parties. As long as you are not that political party, you can offer checks and balances. But even within your party, you can offer checks and balances. You can offer checks and balances. So, this problem of Valungu being, holding on, to power and yet sitting back, holding on to power in his house, is not helping PF. It's not helping PF. It is making PF stagnant. It is making PF stagnant. If PF is active, this country will be better because they will be able to offer checks and balances properly. They will pose a, a real threat to UPND. At the moment, the threat that PF poses to UPND is neither here nor there. It hangs in the balance. It is not a real threat. It is not a real threat. It is very easy to destabilize PF. Very easy to destabilize PF. It is very easy to destabilize PF. They have no leader. They have no leader. They don't have a leader. I mean a substantive leader. I appreciate my given Luvinda. Seriously, I appreciate my given Luvinda. He's doing what he can, but it is very easy to knock out my given Luvinda. It is very easy. The problem with PF is that they are behaving as if 
they are in power. They are still in power. That is the problem. When you are in power, some of these things you can disregard them. Some of these things you can disregard them. But when you are not in power, when you are not in power, you have to play by the rules. Even economic and equity part, we play by the rules. We play by the rules. That's why you say, no, no, no. Hey, why haven't they deregistered the economic and equity part? We play by the rules. When you check economic and equity part from the rules point of view, we follow them. We follow them. We follow them. You say, no, 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 there is no SG. The SG is there. Go Kuna and they will, they will show you who the SG is. They will show you the trustees. They are there. They are there. We play because we are not the ruling party. That's why you don't see the registrar calling us and harassing us. No. Because we follow the rules. No, Baba, you, Baba, you, Baba, PF. They want to play hide and seek. Hide and seek. As if they are in power. They are not in power. And that is why, I mean, Mao Sampa is, is, is on them. And the ruling party can capitalize on that. Those cases that are Mao Sampa is pushing, if the, if the ruling party wants, they can capitalize on that. Those issues that I'm talking about, those the ruling party can capitalize on that when it comes to elections. Vayat Galungu can be thrown out, can be disqualified. Vayat Galungu cannot even file Aman uh, as, as a presidential candidate. Vayat Galungu cannot even file as a, UP, a, a PF member if the ruling party comes in and capitalizes on these weaknesses. Because, for example, they, they have a letter there that he has resigned. He doesn't attend the meetings. I have a, I have a, I have a PF. If he falls in, if he falls in letters and whatever, whatever, and they say, no, you are not a member of the party. You think why Ed Garungu can succeed? Just, just stop for a moment and think about it. Objectively, don't say, no, 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 you are inconsistent, whatever. Just look at what I'm bringing before you. The fact I'm bringing before you. One, government has a letter. It is not a fake letter. It is a real letter written by Vahed Galungu, signed by Vahed Galungu. Vahed Galungu doesn't attend the Central Committee meetings. He doesn't. For how long? We are talking two years now. He doesn't attend those meetings. So, if Vahed Galungu fails to say no, I am the one that is contesting under PF. They will say, no, you, you resigned. You, you resigned. You resigned. Here is a letter. No, my party refused. Oh, your party refused, but you don't attend the meetings. And what does your party constitution say for a person who does not attend meetings? What does the party constitution say for a person who doesn't attend meetings? What does it say? But PF Munjasuke. What does the constitution say for a person who, for a member of central committee who doesn't attend meetings? What does it say? And what does your constitution say about a person who has resigned as a party, as a member, and then wants to come back? What does it say? What did you do to Mao Samba? When Mao Samba went out, when he came back, what did you do to him? You taught him to apply. And you told him to wait for how long? Has that happened? So as it is, I'm opening your eyes. As it is, the Edgar Lung can easily be disqualified to, to stand as a, a president on PF. Can easily be disqualified. And this is a fact. And if you don't look at it as facts, if you keep on looking at me to say, no, that is inconsistent. You are ignoring the fact that I'm bringing before you. I'm opening your eyes. It is very easy to disqualify by Edgar Lungu as a presidential candidate under PF. It's very easy. You can sing. People can sing as much as they want. They can call for Edgar Lungu to be president 
You can say whatever it is, but at the end of the day, you will be faced with these realities. These are not mere speculations. These are real facts. They are a, they are a fact. It is a fact that there is a letter at cabinet office. It is a fact. It is a fact that Bayed Galungu doesn't attend cabinet meetings. It is a fact. Based on those two, Bayed Galungu can be technically knocked out. Can be technically knocked out. Are you going to blame Haka Inde Ichlema to say Haka Inde Ichlema has barred his opponent from standing? When are you going to correct this? If it has to be corrected, when is, are you going to correct it? Isn't it now? It's now to correct this. No, if he comes out, then they will follow him and whatever, whatever. Why are you being scared to be followed? That's what, that is part of politics. That is part of politics. When you are an opponent, expect people to follow you. Expect those in government to follow you. And sort it out. And sort it out. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? So, don't look at Chirufatayari. No, he, yesterday he said this. Yesterday he said, hear my points. Hear my points. Especially you members of a PF. But PF, you members were PF, listen to what I'm talking about and look at these facts. Look at these facts. Address my points. Don't address me, insulting me, forgetting the facts that I'm bringing out. So, if you want, that is uh, that is that is my point. That is my point. It's not just about consistency. It's not just about inconsistency. It's not about being paid. No, nothing. No one has paid me. What I've said here, do I need somebody to pay me? No, no, I don't need somebody to pay me. Who is benefiting out of this? The only one who can benefit is you, a PF. If you listen and act on it. If you listen and act on it, time for Bayed Galungu to come out is now. If he wants to uh, to challenge Haka in the HDM, it's now. Let him come out. But I know he can't. I know he can't. And since I know he can't, I mean, should I continue supporting him? Should I continue supporting him? I know he can't. So if he can't, can I continue supporting him? If I know he can't fight Aka in the HDM, if I know he can't fight Aka in the HDM, why should I be following? I would rather take my own my own path. And at the moment, myself, people keep saying, no, 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 why, what about your part? What about your part? I'm growing my name. And my name has grown. My name has grown. My strategy has been to grow the name. People follow the name of the, the owner of the party. And I use that word owner, you know, loosely. The leader of the, of the party is the one that they follow. Socialism, you don't talk, talk about socialism, you talk about your afraid member. Citizen first, you don't talk about citizen first, you talk about Hari Kalawa. Bakambuidi, when he ran NDC, you are talking about Bakambuidi. PF, Imlanda, PF, PF, the one who started PF, it was Sata. And you followed uh, PF because of Sata. Economic and Equity Party, you will follow it because of Chirufatayali. You will follow Economic and Equity Party because of Chirufatayali. I am a brand. I have succeeded to make that name. If you think I'm joking, I've not been joking. Even when I've been dancing, taking off my shirt, doing all these kind of things, I have been building my name. Building my name. You can tell me, no, 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 but if you take off your shirt, if you are dancing, dancing, people will think you, they will not take you seriously. When time comes, my friend, they will not even look at those things. You will not look at, eh, the other day he was dancing, whatever. You will not look at, oh, the other day, you will not when the time comes. That time will come. 
you see me the way you see me, you berate me now because the time has not come. Now it's time for me to make the name. When I make the name, you people will be attracted to Tayali. In case of Fikishta, when you'll be saying, Uyu inef. And the people will say, but Tayali, eh, that day he was dancing eh, without a shirt. He was dancing naked. People will say, it's okay, we don't care. They will come that time. That time will come. That time will come. And I will grab that, I will grab that opportunity because I will fight back. Even now, Padi Balungu, Kuliko Batawe, Balungu Awelepo. It is true, people are calling for that. But Balungu Awen is not coming out to grab that opportunity. And that is the difference between me and Balungu. Me, when that time will come, I will walk out and grab that opportunity. The leaders that have become presidents, for example, Basat. What did you say about Basata? People were saying Basata, Basata is violent and whatever, whatever. When the time came, they said, no, this very person, it's okay. This is the one we wanted. This is the one we want. And may Basata rest in peace. He was a great politician and everything. But certainly, certainly, I think I can do better. I think I can do better. When, Ed, we, what about HH? Including me, well, how HH cannot be president? HH is what? H, when the time came, my friend, everybody, uh, a lot of people just said, no, this one. No, HH is a satanist. No, we don't care. HH is, is tribal. No, we don't care. HH, uh, no, we don't care. And HH won with one million votes. One million votes, he vote against the, the, the Edgar Lung. So that time will come. So don't, don't, don't push me in your basic politics of no, talk about your party, hey, talk about your manifesto. Who is going to listen about my manifesto? Who is going to listen about my manifesto? If I come today, no, I'm talking about my manifesto. Who is going to be watching? Who is going to be watching? I have to bring things that excite you. Things that you can listen. You want to hear about this. That's what I am going to bring. I'm not that stupid to be to, to, to bring issues that I know you will not even you will not even listen to. And for what? Why are you listening to my manifesto today? For what? Are there elections? There are no elections now. UPND is leading. Elections are coming in, in, in three years' time. Hey, our our shan shan, our shan shan. My politics are concerned. My politics are yo. We are in for don't 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 pretend to be politicians to understand these things. Me, I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I know these things. I have to bring issues that interest you. That's what I have to bring here. That's what I have to bring. This person is just making noise here. Where is that uh, silence? Uh -uh. Where is silence here? Yeah. So I have to I have to bring something that is interesting. But time will come, I can assure you, and those of you who believe in me, I can assure you, time will come. You just have to be patient. Those of you who believe in, in me, I want to tell you that your, your trust, your confidence in me will not be in vain. One day it will bear fruits. But of course we need to be patient. It may not be, it may not be 2021. But believe you me, by the time it will come to 2031, 2031, I'll be a big guy. 2031, I'll be a big guy. You can be assured of that. And now, between now and 2031, if I can be, if I can be part of government, it is good for me. I want to learn. I want to learn. If I can be part of government, I will welcome it. I will welcome it. And you don't say, no, Insana Kapondo, whatever, whatever. Yes, of course. I also need to eat. 
But that would not just that is not just my objective. My objective is to learn. Is to learn, is to be part of government, learn something. Learn something. So that is my strategy. Don't think that this 20 hours, 20 hours, it is in vain. It is not in vain. It is not in vain. Me supporting this one, me supporting that one. No, no, no. I, I, why do you keep on supporting? What about you? My time has not come. So even as we go to 2026, me, I want to support somebody that I know will win. As we go to 2026, I want to support somebody that I, that I know will win. So that after 2026, I can be part of government. When I'm part of government, I will learn. I will learn something and I will also feed my family. 2031, I will be a big guy. If I don't get it in 20, 2031, I will get it in 2036. I can assure you that if I don't get it in 2031, I will get it in, 20, in 2036. I will definitely get it. If I don't get it in 2031, 2036, Tayali will be president. Keep this video. 2026, I know, unless otherwise, unless otherwise a miracle happens, I'm still, I'm still growing politically. I'm still growing politically. I will support a person that will win. And the name of a person who's, who will win, who all come on to Yale win. Nangunyaka in the Ichi, the man come support, and therefore move with Kishé. Nangunyaka in the Ichi, the man come support. After all, even in 2021, I'm supported. I supported him in 2021. Though I didn't vote for him, but this time around, if in 2026 I see that Yaka in the Ichi, the man is doing good, I will support him, and I will even vote for him. Therefore, come here, move with Kishé. Hey, no, no, no. Whatever, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. You lose some, you win some. As you are saying, no, because you like to say, I want to, I want to. No, don't talk about I want to. Talk about yourself. Talk about yourself. People think differently. While some of you are calling me, telling me, hey, I want to, I want to, I want to. There are people who are calling me, this route that you have taken, this is a route. There is one guy today who told me who told me that he is going to send me a bag of rice, 50 kg. He's very happy with me. He says, I don't have money, but I'm going to send you a bag of rice. He even sent me a chan, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a minutes. He sent me I'm a minutes, 800 minutes. He sent me. He said, I don't have money, but I'm going to send you my minutes. I'm going to share with you my minutes. He sent my minutes. He's very happy with me. There are so many other people who are happy with the with the route that I've taken. So, but some of you, you think that you, you are the only people. When you are not happy with me, then everybody else is not happy with me. No. Therefore, I have my politics. The person that you are hating, some people like him. And this is what happens with me. Some of you, yes, you are very upset and so on and so forth, but others are happy with me. I've even heard that, you know, uh, somebody, uh, you know, I've even heard that some information that uh, some PF uh, MPs, those who are my sureties, they want to withdraw their surety. I've heard some people are saying the Ajama sureties, very much they withdraw. Some, some sureties, not everyone, but some sureties, they want to withdraw. They want to withdraw. Some sureties want to withdraw. They are being surety. You can come and withdraw. I thank you that you, are, you stood for me. Frankly speaking, I thank you. But I will not hold you. If you want to come and withdraw, withdraw. But I can assure you, as you are withdrawing, there will be others people that will come in. That will come in and sign as sureties. They will, they will come. And what is funny is that those who are actually, our case, I'm saying that it's those people who wanted to see me in jail. Today, some PF members want to see me in jail. But I can assure you, there are people on the other side who want to see me continue. Who want to see me free. That's how life works. So don't, don't think that, you know, uh, you, 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 you can, you, 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 you hold, you hold my 
my my my my destiny or my welfare in your hands no don't don't and i say this on either side don't because the problem that you think is that no 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 hey but uh, so i have you pnd you will suffer no i will not suffer I will not suffer. God is the one that looks after me. It's not UPND. It's not PF. It's God who looks after me. Even if a UPND don't come to support for, who don't come to sign bond, even if a PF don't come to sign bond, there will be people of God who will come and sign bond for me. I am not. I am really grateful. I'm really grateful. But I'm just saying this. There are some people who are who want to come and withdraw their surety. And some of them in their thinking is that when they do that, I will be stranded. I will not be stranded. I will not be stranded. But PF, you used to arrest me. Especially the last one, you treated me so bad. There were people that came to help me. There are people that came to help me. Mutembo Nchito, State Council, the man Ushimonaika, the man whatever, whatever, he came and he helped me. He came and he helped me. Mutembo Nchito is not UPND, Mutembo Nchito is not PF. But he came. You see, this is, the, he came. Eh, my bond was, re, was revoked, was, my what, the surety was removed. It's not the first time that I'm having a surety with a drawing. My surety came and withdrew. Chipenzi came in and signed my bond. Eh? Chipenzi came in and signed my bond. Eh? Maybe even now Chipenzi can come and sign. After all, he's even a commissioner if he can, but I know he, he cannot. But definitely there will be people that will come. So now, Papa, don't think that he, don't think that you can hold me to ransom. You can't hold me to ransom. And what I'm saying is not that I want because I want something from you. No, I say it because I'm convinced about what I'm saying. I don't say things because I want anything from you. I say what I'm convinced about. And if you are generous to support me, well and good. Well and good. But especially those that I stand and speak for. I mean, you should. You should. You know, morally, look at it to say, no, 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 we need to help this guy. You can't just stand aloof. When I'm struggling, I'm struggling, and you're just sitting there. No, I don't think that is right. And even me, if I continue, I mean, I'm not a political matter. No, I can never be a political matter. I can never be a political matter. I'm going to be a matter for people, not for politics. No, I don't want to be a political matter, an, an individual matter. Eh? Because of some individual, I become a matter. I die for some individual. No, not in politics. No. And in politics, it's about compromise. If I can compromise something with UPND, well and good. If I can compromise something with PF, well and good. Ma politics by each year. Politics, they are one. Never should you be cheated, especially you young people. Never should you be cheated. In politics, it is not just free of charge no if you if you want to do charity why don't you go and form an ngo in politics it's about it's about making agreements and benefiting that is just the truth even you the citizens you want to benefit you want to benefit by good policies that's why you choose a different a different political party because you want to benefit through the good policies all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go